Exodus 31 to 33. Then Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Behold, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Ruach Elohim, in wisdom and in understanding, in knowledge, in all kinds of workmanship, to devise skillful works, to work in gold and silver and bronze, and in cutting of stones for setting, and in carving for wood, to work in all kinds of workmanship. Behold, I myself have appointed with him Oheliab, the son of Ahizmach, of the tribe of Dan. And in the heart of all who are wise-hearted, I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded you, the tent of meeting, the ark of the covenant, the mercy seat that is on it, all the furniture of the tent, the table of it and its vessels, the pure gold menorah with all its vessels, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all its vessels, the basin in its base, the finely worked garments, the holy garments for Aaron the Kohen, the garments of his sons to minister as Kohen, the anointing oil, the incense of sweet spices for the holy place, According to all that I commanded you, they shall do. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak also to the sons of Israel, saying, Most certainly you shall keep my Shabbats, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am Yahweh, who sanctifies you. You shall keep the Shabbat, therefore, for it is, a, for it is holy to you. Everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death. For whoever does any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day is a Shabbat of solemn rest, holy to Yahweh. Whoever does any work on Shabbat, Shabbat day shall surely be put to death. So the sons of Israel shall keep the Shabbat, to observe the Shabbat throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the sons of Israel, for in it six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he ceased and was refreshed. When he finished speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses the two tablets of the covenant, Stone tablets, written by the finger of God. When the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, the people gathered themselves together to Aaron and said to him, Come, make us gods, which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Aaron said to them, Take off the golden rings, which are in the ears of your wives, your sons, your daughters, and bring them to me. All the people took off the golden rings, which were in their ears, and brought them to Aaron. He received what they handed him, fashioned it with an engraving tool, and made a molded calf. Then they said, These are your gods, Israel, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. When Aaron saw this, He built an altar for it, and Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow shall be a feast to Yahweh. They rose up early on the next day and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. Yahweh spoke to Moses, Go, get down, for your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. They have, turned, they have turned away quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molded calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed to it and said, These are your gods, Israel, which brought you from the land of Egypt. And Yahweh said to Moses, I have seen this people and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore, leave me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of you a great nation. 
Then Moses begged Yahweh, his God, and said, Yahweh, why does your wrath burn hot against your people that you have brought out of the land of Egypt with a great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians talk, saying, He brought them out for evil to kill them in the mountains and to consume them from the sacrifice from the surface of the earth. Turn, turn from your fierce wrath and turn away from this evil against your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self and said to them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven. And all this land that I have spoken of, I will give to your offspring and they shall inherit it forever." So Yahweh relented from the evil which he said he would do to his people. Then Moses turned and went down from the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant in his hand, tablets that were written on both their sides. They were written on one side and on the other. The tablets were the work of God, and the writings was the writings of God, engraved on the tablets. Now when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. But he said, It is not the voice of those who shout for victory. It is not the voice of those who cry for being overcome, but the noise of those who sing that I hear. As soon as he came near to the camp, he saw the calf and dancing. Then Moses' anger grew hot, and he threw the tablets out of his hand and broke them beneath the mountain. He took the calf which he had made and burned it with fire, ground it to powder, and scattered it on the water, and made the sons of Israel drink it. Moses said to Aaron, What did these people do to you that you have brought a great sin on them? Aaron said, Do not let the anger of my Lord grow hot. You know the people, that they are set on evil. For they said to me, Make us gods, which shall go before us. As for Moses... The man who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. And I said to them, Whoever has any gold, let them take it off. So they gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and out came this calf. When Moses saw that the people were out of control, for Aaron had let them lose control, causing derision among their enemies, then Moses stood at the gate of the camp and said, Whoever is on the side of Yahweh, come to me. All the sons of Levi gathered themselves together to him. He said to them, This is what Yahweh, the God of Israel, says. Every man put his sword on his thigh and go back and forth from gate to gate throughout the camp. And every man kill his brother and every man his companion and every man his neighbor. So the sons of Levi did according to the word of Moses. About 3,000 men fell of the people that day. And Moses said, Consecrate yourselves today to Yahweh. For every man was against his son and against his brother, that he may give you a blessing today. On that day, Moses said to the people, You have sinned a great sin. Now I'll go up to Yahweh. Perhaps I shall make atonement for your sin. Moses returned to Yahweh and said, Oh, This people have sinned a great sin and have made themselves gods of gold. Yet now, if you will, forgive their sin. And if not, please blot me out of your book, which you have written. But Yahweh said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot him out of my book. Now go, lead the people to the place of which I have spoken to you. Behold, my angel shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I punish, I will punish them for their sin. Then Yahweh struck the people because of what they did with the calf which Aaron made. Then Yahweh spoke to Moses, Depart, go up from here, you and the people, that you have brought up out of the land of Egypt to the land of which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to you, to your offspring. I will send an angel before you, And I will drive out the Canaanite, the Amorite, the Hittite, and the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jubasite. Go to the land flowing with milk and honey, 
but I will not go up among you, for you are a stiff-necked people, lest I consume you on the way. When the people heard this evil word, they mourned, and no one put on his jewelry. For Yahweh had said to Moses, Tell the sons of Israel, you are a stiff-necked people. If I were to go up among you for one moment, I would consume you. Now, therefore, take off your, your jewelry for you, from you, that I may know what to do to you. So the sons of Israel stripped themselves of their jewelry from Mount Horeb onward. Now Moses used to take the tent, pitch it outside the camp, far away from the camp, and he called it the tent of meeting. Everyone who sought Yahweh went out to the tent of meeting, which was outside of the camp. And it came to pass when Moses went out to the tent that all the people rose up and stood, everyone at their tent door, and watched Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered into the tent, the pillar of cloud descended, stood at the door of the tent, and Yahweh spoke with Moses. All the people, all the people saw the pillar of cloud stand at the, tent, at the door of the tent, and all the people rose up and worshipped everyone at their tent door. Thus, Yahweh spoke to Moses face to face. As a man speaks to his friend, he turned again into the camp, but his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, did not depart from the tent. Moses said to Yahweh, Behold, you tell me, bring up this people, and you have not let me know no, whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name. And you have also found favor in my sight. Now therefore, if I have found favor in your sight, please show me your way now that I may know, so that I may find favor in your sight and consider that this nation is your people. He said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. And he said to him, if your presence does not go with me, do not carry us up from here. For how would people know that I have found favor in your sight and I your people. It is not that you go with us so that we are separated, I and your people, from all the people who are on the surface of the earth. And Yahweh said to Moses, I will do this thing also that you have spoken, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. And he said, Please show me your glory. Then he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you and proclaim the name of Yahweh before you. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and I will show mercy whom I will show mercy. But he said, You cannot see my face, for man may not see me and live. Then Yahweh said, Behold, there is a place by me, and you shall stand on the rock. It will happen while my glory passes by, that I will put you in the cleft of the rock, and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you will see my back, but my face shall not be seen.